IFS UK 2023 has gotten off to an explosive start, with so many arguments taking place, red flags being, and far, far too much PDA taking place at the dinner table. Now we know our couples a bit better, here's our ranking of the most toxic couples taking part in Married at First Sight 2023. Well, so far, anyway. Toxic MAFS UK 2023 couples, Portia and Terence do they get any worse than this? Terence and Portia are a match made in hell. Considering Portia and Terence are 35 and 40 respectively, they're pretty childish, to be completely honest. They're also both very stubborn, and both actively sabotaging their marriage. Portia, I have to say though, is the reason this marriage is so toxic. She is entitled, completely unwilling to compromise, and seems as though she is constantly looking for drama. What have I done to warrant such disdain? She sobbed last night. Once you watch the episodes back, Portia, you might realize. If this couple is still together next week, I'll be surprised, nay, mind blown. The worst couple on the show by far. Shona and Brad this might come out of left field for some viewers but trust me, Brad and Shona are toxic, or they will be, very, very soon. It all looks lovey-dovey now, but it screams fake to me. Forced, even. It's classic love bombing. How on earth can they already love each other and be talking about babies? They've known each other for days. It's bizarre. Their behavior during the dinner party was just far too odd too. It was as if they were desperate for people to know, we're the best couple, look at US kissing constantly. Annoying. The whole thing isn't healthy, in my opinion. It's too deep, too fast, and it's all going to end in tears, mark my words. Once the, I want to rip your clothes off every second of the day, phase is over, then we'll see what the couple is really like. If T's not toxic already, it will be. Ella and Nathaniel we already know this marriage is toxic, thanks to Nathaniel's interview with The Mirror over the weekend. However, prior to that, we saw that the couple weren't exactly best suited when they were arguing every five minutes on their honeymoon. Ella seems desperate to rush into things, whilst Nathaniel doesn't. However, Nathaniel really didn't react well during the arguments with Ella, storming off twice and exposing her as a stripper too. It's been reported that Ella cheats on Nathaniel during this series. I mean, if that's not toxic, then I dunno what is. Peggy and George are a toxic MAFS UK 2023 couple. They may seem to be doing fine now, but there were a lot of red flags being flown during Peggy and George honeymoon earlier this week, and during their wedding too, actually. George's behavior left a lot to be desired, initially. His rather derogatory comments didn't exactly endear him to viewers, and it seemed to set off some alarm bells for Peggy. However, Peggy's behavior on the honeymoon set off even more alarm bells. Twice, she kicked off and stormed off over the smallest issues. Twice George found himself apologizing, despite, to be honest, not actually doing that much wrong. The whole thing just doesn't seem very healthy, and sooner or later they'll fall out again. Honorable mention, Ros and Thomas it's not toxic in the sense that Portia and Terence is toxic, but things are a little, weird, between Thomas and Ros. They just don't seem to be able to relax around each other, and their awkwardness is making me awkward watching them. Both are either too shy or too stubborn to make the first move, which doesn't bode well. I do have a feeling that this relationship will last but it's going to take time to get to a point where they're comfortable with each other. At the moment, I will label this marriage toxic, but only ever so slightly. Give them time.